When I first joined Savills as a senior project manager for, for, for Egypt office, um, later I was promoted to oversee the building a project consultancy team in Egypt, where I successfully expanded the team from five members to 20, 21 members. Uh, then I'm now currently leading the BBC department uh, in Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And I've been working with Savills for eight years now, having started my career as an operations manager with Savills in the UK in the retail division initially looking after a boutique luxury shopping destination in the heart of London. I had two very quick promotions um, and ended up working as an operations director on the mixed-use team on one of the most recognisable mixed-use estates in Europe, if not the world. I decided to relocate to Saudi Arabia to head up the facilities management division. The opportunities to grow and develop the facilities management division in Saudi Arabia was too good of an opportunity for me to refuse. With the current levels of real estate construction and investment, and the long-term 2030 vision. Um, what made me decide um, as an employee or a kid from Savil E to Savil Saudi Arabia, um, I was motivated to take uh, on this opportunity for several reasons. First, I was excited about the chance to expand my professional uh, horizons and uh, gain a broader uh, range of experience. Uh, relocated to, relocating to Saudi Arabia allowed me to um, immerse myself in a different market and culture, uh, which was both uh, stimulating and enriching. Furthermore, joining Savils in Saudi Arabia presented a new set of challenges that I was eager to embarrass. I saw it as a chance to contribute my skills and uh, expertise in different contexts. Working with a diverse team and serving uh, clients with a unique needs uh, and, and, and preference. Overall, the decision to relocate was driven by a desire for a personal and professional growth, uh, as well as the thrill of uh, working on a fresh uh, chapter uh, in my career. The Lion, Georgiana, Kadia, Diria Gay, the North Pole are just some of the Giga projects currently planned and under construction. If you look at the scale of these master plans, it goes to show the unique level of opportunities in Saudi Arabia. The opportunities to work on these projects are incredible, and to be involved with projects like this that will change not only the landscape in Saudi Arabia, but also the whole of the Middle East. Given the level of investment and construction, Savills is investing in its team in Saudi Arabia, and we are growing almost by the day. Savills positions itself with sustainable growth plans. With the added benefits of a global support network, Savills is on track to be the leading property and facilities managing agent in Saudi Arabia. We will have opportunities in all service lines and would highly recommend following Savills for updates for all upcoming opportunities to join not just a great global organisation, but an amazing team. Living and working in Saudi Arabia has been a unique and enriching experience. Uh, the cultural difference, work environment, um, gender dynamics, lifestyle, and the presence of a diverse expat community have all contributed to a distinct and rewarding experience uh, compared to my previous time in Egypt. Uh, it has uh, broadened my perspective, uh, required adaptation, and provided opportunities uh, for personal and professional growth. Personally, I'm very ambitious uh, and believe that we will have the biggest team out of all of our Middle East offices. As such, my long-term goal is to drive the FM division to be the largest in the global group. Whilst this sounds ambitious, if you look at the opportunities that are available in the future, it is very much achievable. I'm looking forward to growing our team and delivering innovative, best-in-class solutions to our clients across Saudi Arabia. Um, honestly, Savile sets itself apart in the Saudi Arabian real estate industry um, through its uh, global expertise, uh, extensive network, uh, comprehensive service offering, um, and strong local presence. The company uh, takes great care in selecting candidates who will work and, uh, well together, uh, emphasize, emphasizing the, the creation of, of a positive and, uh, let's say, um, a harmonious work environment. Savills values both financial 
success and the happiness of uh, its uh, employees, uh, recognizing uh, that uh, a content workforce leads to better outcomes and client satisfaction. Um, I think this approach fosters a professional and supportive uh, atmosphere uh, within Savills, making it uh, an appealing and fulfilling place to build a career for expats in the real estate industry in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has gone for a huge change over the past five years and will continue to change over the coming years in line with Vision 2030. I would highly recommend visiting Saudi Arabia before you dismiss any opportunities to experience the culture and quality of life on offer and to research the cost of living in Saudi Arabia. Network and connect ahead of your visit. There are a number of expat forums to build a network of local contacts that can offer great advice and recommendations to assist in any transition to a new country but take the time to understand the cultural, customs and traditions of Saudi Arabia, learn about the social norms and the local way of life. This knowledge will help you navigate social interactions and so show respect to the local community. Saudi Arabia is a country with diverse landscapes and rich history. Take advantage of the opportunities to explore the country and learn about its different regions. Visit historical sites, experience local festivals and appreciate the natural beauty that Saudi Arabia has to offer. Travelling within the country can broaden your perspective as it has mine and help you appreciate the cultural diversity within Saudi Arabia. I would be very happy to provide any advice if you're planning on relocating to Saudi Arabia, so please do not hesitate to reach out to me.